This video highlights some of the new and updated features of Brightspace Learning Environment 20.22.1. Brightspace Leap, available in the Singapore region. New. As of this release, Brightspace Leap is now available to clients who require Singapore hosting for regional or data residency requirements. The regional Leap LTI launch point URL for Singapore is https colon backslash backslash leapltiapbrightspacecom backslash d2l link. This feature is available to all Brightspace Performance Plus clients and is automatically enabled for all Brightspace Leap users. Brightspace Learning Environment Improved editing features in audio video editor. New. This feature introduces new capabilities to the audio video editor for files uploaded to the content service. Users can now edit video timelines, create chapters, and add captions to their videos. D2L recommends using the desktop experience when editing audio video files. Videos can be edited from course content or by using the Edit Advanced Editing option in the Admin Tools menu. Editing timelines allows users to skip unwanted sections of a video recording. Chapter titles can be used to create a table of contents for videos to allow quick navigation to specific sections. Captions can be uploaded from a VTT or SRT file, or automatically generated to make videos accessible to all users. In Content Lessons, the editor features are only available for newly uploaded audio video files and do not apply to files that were uploaded prior to this feature being introduced. This feature addresses the following accessibility criteria. WCAG 2.1 Success Criterion 1.2.2 Captions Pre-Recorded. This feature is available to all users and is automatically enabled for all clients. Administrators with the media platform can insert all video notes and can administer video notes and the content service can manage all objects permissions can see the edit options for all video notes. Users with the media platform can upload video notes and can administer video notes permissions, along with the content service can manage objects permissions, can see the edit options for video notes they uploaded. Brightspace Learning Environment. Improved viewing features in audio video player. New. To improve the functionality of the audio video player in Brightspace Learning Environment, Multi-bit rate streaming and search functionality are now available. Multi-bit rate streaming allows high definition videos to be played at standard definition to reduce the bandwidth necessary for users to watch videos. The new search functionality allows users to locate keywords in video captions and quickly navigate to those sections. This feature addresses the following accessibility criteria. WCAG 2.1 Success Criterion 1.2.2 Captions Pre-Recorded. This feature is available to all clients and is automatically enabled for all users. Brightspace Learning Environment. Supported Browsers. Updated. With this release, Brightspace Learning Environment's browser version check now displays warnings for browsers earlier than the following versions. Chrome 93, released in August 2021. Safari 13, released in September 2019. Firefox 91, released in August 2021. And Edge 93, released in August 2021. You can access Brightspace Learning Environment with older versions of our supported browsers. However, D2L does not test Brightspace Learning Environment against these older versions. 
This means you may encounter unexpected user interface behavior and appearance, or broken and unsupported functionality. In most cases, D2L does not fix software defects experienced in unsupported browser versions. For an optimal experience that offers better performance, accessibility, and security, D2L strongly recommends that all users access Brightspace Learning Environment with the latest version of a supported browser. This feature is available to all clients and is automatically enabled for Brightspace Learning Environment users. Calendar. Improvements to date and time selection web components. Updated. Building upon the Calendar, Improvements to Date and Time Selection Web Components, updated feature released in March 2021, 20.21.3, this release updates the date and time picker in Brightspace Learning Environment to include the following usability changes. The Set to Today button is renamed to Today. The Today button continues to set the date and time based on the context. For example, choosing Today for an end date sets the current date and sets the time to 11.59 p.m. Added a Now button that sets the current date and time. The Today and Now buttons only appear when a date and time are required. When only a date is required, only the Today button appears, and functions the same as the Now button. This feature implements Pi item D7627. This feature addresses the following accessibility criteria. WCAG 2.1 Success Criterion 2.1.1 Keyboard. This feature is available to all clients and is automatically enabled for all tools that use the date and time selector. Content. Completion tracking for new learner experience. Updated. With this release, the activity completion tracking in New Learner Experience no longer includes optional activities. This removes redundant information and provides clarity for learners to distinguish between optional and required course content. Updates include the following. Removed completion count 0 out of 0 from Table of Contents, Navigation Menu, and End of Unit paid for modules with no required activities. Note that this applies when there are no topics in a module, or all the topics in a module are either optional or the learner is exempt. Removed empty progress meter from navigation menu and end of unit paid for modules with no required activities. Removed completion checkmark from navigation tile for optional or exempt activities that the learner has completed. Total Activities component added to end of unit page for modules with one or more optional activities. This component provides a count of all required activities in the module, a count of all optional activities in the module, and the note, optional activities are not required for the completion of this unit. Note that the count of optional activities includes both optional and exempt activities. Header on end of unit page is now optional activities unit for modules with no required activities. Previously, the header was nice work so far if any activities in the module were incomplete or congratulations if all the activities in the module were complete. Button on end of unit page is now I'm done for modules with no required activities. Previously, the button was back to content if any activities in the module were incomplete. And these are the pieces left to complete this unit list on end of page only includes incomplete required activities. Previously, the list included all incomplete activities, both required and optional. This feature implements Pi items D7824 and D8581. This feature is available to all clients and is automatically enabled for new learner experience users. Content, date management and display for LOR links in lessons, new. This release introduces a new layout and date management experience for editing linked LOR objects in the new content experience, lessons. The experience is consistent with the content, date management and display in lessons, new feature released in August 2021, 
20.21.8. Previously, the edit page for LOR link content topics in Lessons only allowed users to edit the title and provided no additional information about the object. With this release, the edit page for LOR link content topics in Lessons includes... The ability to change topic name and display option, to add or change due date, start date, and end date. Information about the LOR object, including document name, version number, last edit date, file type, and repository name. Settings button, which opens the learning object properties dialog. Previously, users accessed this dialog by navigating to the Options menu and clicking Use a Different Version. This release removes that option from the menu. This feature is available to all clients. To enable, ensure that the d2l.tools.content.lessonscreateexperience opt-in configuration variable is set to on opt-in. Content Link to Content Report in Lessons. New. This release adds a link to the Content Reports page for courses using the new Content Experience Lessons. To access, open the Settings menu by clicking the gear symbol next to New Unit and click View Reports. Previously, the only way to access Content Reports from Lessons was creating a custom link on the navbar. This feature implements Pi Item D7643. This feature is available to all roles with C Content Statistics permission, and is automatically enabled for Lessons users. Content Service. Uploaded media files use Content Service. New. To improve the functionality of audio video files in Brightspace, this feature ensures most audio video files are handled by the content service. The new capabilities are documented in the Brightspace Learning Environment Improved Viewing Features in Audio Video Player New and the Brightspace Learning Environment Improved Editing Features in Audio Video Editor New features from this release. Newly uploaded audio video files can now take advantage of all of the features of the content service, and similar behavior is experienced in all locations where media files can be uploaded or edited. Audio video files that were uploaded prior to this release do not have access to the features available to files hosted by the content service. All audio video files uploaded to content service are now automatically converted to MP4 files, or MP3 for audio, to ensure that they are playable on all supported devices. Note that videos uploaded as assignment submissions or uploaded to a course's managed files area continue to use the legacy method for handling files. To manage media files used by the content service, this feature introduces the following new permissions. Content service can manage objects and content service can manage all video notes. The Content Service Can Manage Objects permission allows users to upload video and audio files to course content using the Content Service and edit their own content using the advanced editing options. This permission requires the Content Manage Content at the course offering level permission. Roles that currently have the Content Manage Content permission are automatically assigned the new Content Service Can Manage Objects permission. The Content Service Can Manage All Video Notes permission allows users to manage and edit video notes uploaded by any user at their organization in the Audio Video Notes editor. This permission requires the Media Platform Can Insert Any Video Notes and the Media Platform Can Administer Video Notes permissions. This permission is intended for administrators as it grants access to all video notes uploaded by your organization. The existing Content Service Can Manage All Objects permission, reserved for administrators, is updated to allow users to edit all video and audio notes in the Audio Video Notes Editor. Users with this permission can also modify video or audio notes with the built-in editing tools. This permission requires the Content Manage Content, Media Platform Can Insert Any Video Notes, 
media platform can upload video notes, and the media platform can administer video notes provisions. The Can Manage All Objects permission grants full access to content service objects, including the ability to permanently delete files, and should be only granted to roles that require unlimited access to files uploaded by your organization. This feature is available to all clients. To enable, ensure that the new and existing permissions that control media file uploads are set appropriately for all necessary roles at your organization. Course Import and Export – Logging Improvements – New To simplify user access to import and export logs, the Course Import and Export tool now includes import and export logs as part of the Course Import and Export history, which include navigation breadcrumbs. In addition, the logs display the results in the order of import and export operations. Previously, Import and export logs opened in a new tab and displayed the results out of order without navigation breadcrumbs. This feature is available to all clients and is automatically enabled for all users. Data purge. Additional columns displayed in org unit and user purge sets. Updated. When clients create a data purge set for users or org units, it was previously not possible to review the data of the purge set for potential issues, such as courses that are currently in use, before performing the archive or purge. The org unit name, org unit type, active status, and start and end date are now available for each org unit ID in the org unit data purge set. Users can now sort each column. The name, username, active status, and last access date are now available for each username in the user data purge set. Users can now sort by active status and last access date. Note that if descendants of an org unit are chosen, the child org units do not display. This feature is available to all clients and is automatically enabled for data purge users. The existing can manage purge sets permission must also be selected at the organization level. Discussions. Scoring rubric dropdown for evaluations. New. To make the discussion evaluation consistent with the assignments evaluation, this feature adds the grading rubric dropdown to the sidebar menu. This allows the instructor to choose a grading rubric when evaluating a discussion. If a normal topic assessment with points or custom points-based rubric is selected, this rubric is the one whose score transfers to the overall grade field. The score transfer does not occur if allow assessment of individual posts or a percentage rubric is selected. This feature is available to all clients and is automatically enabled for discussions users. IPSIS, D2L standard CSV zip name for batch display, new. To assist with the usability of IPSIS batch information, the zip folder name is now visible in batch information in IPSIS and in the batch notification. This allows clients to identify which locally saved batch matches a specific batch process in IPSIS. The zip folder name is visible on the latest batch status on the IPSIS dashboard, within each batch status on the batch tab, is part of the batch identifier in the batch filter on the log messages tab, and in batch notifications. This feature is available to all clients and is automatically enabled for IPSIS users. IPSIS, support for surname prefixes during sort function, updated. Continuing on the support for surname prefixes during sort function feature released in December 2021, 20.21.12, the sortable last name is now supported by the D2L standard CSV. The new version 2.1 CSV now includes the optional sort last name column in addition to the existing type, action, username, org defined ID, first name, last name, password, is active, role name, email, relationships, preferred first name, and preferred last name columns. This feature is available to all IPSIS clients with a CSV source system. To enable, administrators must have the Manage IPSIS Bulk Operations permission. 